Yo, what up guys? Today we're going to show you how to make a crystal ball snow globe perfection. All right, first thing we do once we have Photoshop open is we come down here to Finder and locate our desktop. And in there I have a folder with all of my photos that I need. And so the first one we're going to grab is the cabin. And we're going to click and we're going to drag the cabin right down into PS for Photoshop. What that does is that opens it up in a in its own window without having any of the extra white here and there all over the place. Okay, what we need to do is cut out the cabin and a little bit of the snow, a little bit of the extra. So we're gonna be using our pen tool. And so with our pen tool, we'll start over here. And our pen tool works in straight lines. So we just click and we move our mouse and click again and move our mouse and click again and click again. If we click and drag, it starts to make it so it, it turns and makes round shapes, but that's not what we're after on this one. And so we're just going to go through here and cut this out. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Just nice enough, you know, just right along the outside of the house. Because in all reality, no one's really got that closely at it. All right, then we can go all the way across and then back up. And it get, gives this beautiful blue outline, but it doesn't make a selection for us. So we have to come up here to our selection and click selection and then click OK. And now we have our marching ants. We have our collection there. Okay. What I can do is hit Command J. That copies the layer. And if I hide this, there we have our beautiful cutout of our house that we're going to put into our snow globe. Okay, the next thing we want to do is come in here and grab this black ball. Do the same thing. Drag it down to our PS to Photoshop. And there we have it. And then we're also going to do the same thing. Actually, we're going to do this next one a little bit differently. So we're going to grab the crystal ball, and we're going to click that and drag it straight down on top of our black circle there. And when we let go, it's magically going to fit the perfect frame because it's already the exact same size. And this is the glass par portion of the crystal ball. So now what we need to do is come back to our other layer and we will click on using our move tool we have to switch to our move tool we click this drag it up hold it and bring it back down and then let go what that does is that it helps it move so if we don't do that then it's not going to work for us then we can hold down shift and option and that will make a it will allow us to make it smaller without warping it okay we're gonna bring it down just a little bit maybe make it a little bit bigger here use your arrow keys to put around All right perfect okay. there and place it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down command and click on the black circle it has to be on the black circle so click on that now I have the marching ants all the way around. Then I click back on layer two, which happens to be my cabin. And then I can come here to our layer mask. When I click that, everything outside of those marching ants now get masked out. And here I have that beautiful snow globe. Okay, next we'll go back into Finder and we'll grab our snow background. Actually, not yet. We're gonna need to, we need to grab our snow space. So we're going to grab our snow space and come in and drop that right on top. Come on, snow space. All right, so that's nice and small. So I can come here and grab that and make it bigger. If I hold down Option, it will grow from the center. Hit Enter to place it. And then the same thing, we're going to scroll down, hold down Command, click on the black circle. There again, we see our marching ants. We go back up to the top layer, which is already selected. And then we hit the layer mask. So again, everything outside of those marching ants gets masked out. And then we take that and we click it and drag it down. And we're below that, but we want our crystal ball at the very top. So we click our crystal ball and bring that above everything else. And now we have our crystal ball with a snow background and our um, cabin there in that. Okay, so now what we need to do is select all of these layers. Actually, not quite yet. First, we need to bring in that snow background. And we don't want to bring the snow background in here. We want it on its own layer in its own tab. So we're going to click snow background, drag it down to PS. Again, that opens up in a brand new tab. 
we go back to our black crystal ball. And there's two different ways we can do this. Well, using our move tool, we can click and drag and select all of that. And then we can move that around. Okay, the other thing that we can do is we can click on the top layer, scroll down to the bottom, hold down shift and click, and that will select every layer in between. And then the same thing, we click, drag that up to our snow background, bring it back down, release. If it says that, go ahead and hit okay. And then if we hit command zero, that's gonna step it out backwards for us. We'll bring that up right there. It's too big, so we need to make that smaller. Hold down option, click, drag. Makes it a little bit smaller. Bring it back down. And this time without holding option, we just click and drag on the corner and it makes it smaller right there. Okay. So there we have that. Then what we can do is with our original black circle, so our layer two, we select layer two, the black circle, and just click the top one, hold down shift, and bring it straight down. We're gonna turn that into our shadow. Arrow keys, move that down. There it is. Then we're gonna go up to filter, because we're still on layer two. Go down to, oh, we have to enter first. I have to place that. All right, so select layer two. Go up to filter, down to blur, over to Gaussian blur. And then we just watch as we slide this over. We can see how it is affecting our shadow. And there we go, that one looks good. Click okay. And then if we need to, we can always drop the opacity on our shadow. But there we go, that looks pretty good. All right, now that we're done, we'll save it. Go file, save, um, save to the cloud or to your computer. I recommend saving to the computer and putting it inside the folder that you've already created. So there it is, snow background. We're gonna change that to snow globe. It's a PSD, it's going inside a snow globe. We click save, click okay. And then we're gonna export it. So we go file, export, export as. And then we'll change from a PNG to a JPEG. Keep the quality good, click export, and then it should automatically go, which it did not go. It's going to our desktop, but it did not go into our snow globe. So we'll select that in snow globe JPEG, click save. Excuse me. And then when we go back and look inside there, we will see our snow globe JPEG. And there it is. And then there is our completed snow globe yay